So this is in um, this is in, in exercise five e, and it is transforming graphs of exponentials to a different base. So from y is equal to two to the x to the graph of y is equal to e to the x. So what we're trying to do is we're trying to start with, let's do, that's 2 to the x. y is equal to 2 to the x. And y is equal to e to the x sits under here and sits up this way a little bit like that. Can you see that done? Yeah. Um, and so you can see they both go through at the same point on the y-axis and one is almost looks like it's some kind of dilation doesn't it yeah. on the left hand side here on this side over this way it looks like it's dilated um, positively like it's, it's stretched away from the y-axis mm -hmm. yeah and on this side it looks like it's stretched towards the y-axis so that's some kind of weird value it's not a, it's not the same amount the whole time yeah it's not the same amount the whole time all the way along so it is some kind of dilation mm -hmm. the other way that you can think about it is a, is it's a dilation that way yeah yeah okay um and it either pulls it in or pulls it out so how do we get this weird looking dilation thing and so what we're going to do we're going to use the relationship where if we have and that's a, that is a Where if we have, everybody's, everybody seems to be okay with this thing, e to the x, yeah? Mm -hmm. That that's equal to the x comes out the front and you get log e to the base e, which is x times 1, which is x. Everybody seems to be okay with that, yeah? Yeah. The, uh, the equivalent to that in exponential forms is e raised to the power of log to the base e of x, is in fact x mm -hmm. right and that's the one that we're going to use here to change to a different base okay so for this to work before in the log one you needed to have the base and what you were for has it as a had as a power as the same thing and here we're having our what we've got base and our base eight. being the same thing and they undo each other okay. all right so cool yeah okay with that yeah all right so what you what that allows you to do is to do something like this so if we had e to the x are we going oh, which way are we going to go we're going to go 2 to the x to e to the x which one are we going the graph of that to e to the x all right so yeah. we're going to write the graph that we're going to get to in terms of something that's equivalent to e also raised to the power of x Right, something that's equivalent to e also raised to the power of x and so what we're going to do is we're going to put in here something that's equivalent to e so this is going to be equal to e mm -hmm. yeah and so we can write that e as being if you like using this this idea over here like this this log idea over here log idea this exponential idea over here i'm going to write it with a base i'm going to write it with a base let's choose that two with a little two up there mm -hmm. right so two log to the base two and i should write my base as a base Oops, that should be a 2, get that right, 2, 2, and then that E. E. Does that make sense? Yeah. All right, so that should be a 2 there. All right, so I've got the pattern. I've got the pattern where this value here and that value there are the same. So this is all going to undo itself, and it's going to come back to give me just equal to e all right does that make sense 
Yes. And that's what I'm going to put in. That's what I'm going to put in that blue box. In that blue box here. That's what I'm going to put in there. Mm -hmm. All right. So I'm going to replace the blue box with two log to the base two of e. I'm going to pop that in that that what was in that box, and that becomes an x. Mm -hmm. And see what I've got now is. Do the powers cancel Oops. each other out? The powers don't cancel each other out. I'm actually trying to equate them, love, so that you can see, so that you can see how it actually works. So what I've got here is e to the x is equal to two log to the base two of e, and that whole thing is times by x. Okay. Okay. Mm. And that's normally how you would write it with the x at the front, right? Yeah. But I'm going to put the x towards the back and I'm going to write it in a different colour times by x because I want you to think about, you know that generic formula, that generic y equals a... Dilation from the yep. y-axis. Yep, e to the n x plus b plus c. So that's our generic one, our yes. generic transformations for our exponentials. And so what we've got here, we've got some number multiplying our x term. We mm. haven't got anything else in here. So see, so see when you look up here, see when you look up here, you've got a base with some number multiplying that x term, that number is in fact that little bit there that's multiplying the x is in fact your n. Okay. And what does that n do? In the formula, in that generic formula, you know the one I mean? Mm -hmm. y equals a f of n x plus b plus c. What does that n do in that? Um, dilates it by a factor of m from the y-axis. From the y-axis. Now, because it's changing x's, mm -hmm. x is across, and across is like um, um, angry, bad, okay? So it's dilation by a factor of 1 on n. Well, oh, yeah, it is. Okay. From the y-axis. So, what I have here to go from e to the to get to e to the x, I need to start with two to the power of x, and then I need to dilate that by log e. Oops, log to the base two of e. Log to the base two of e. As a, as a, yeah, so that's what I've got to do. So the transformation is, let me just write it, it becomes easier. Transformation becomes easier if I can write it properly. Trans, trans, oh my God. <laughs> transformation. Yeah. All right. So what we're going to do is we are going to dilate by a factor of, 1 over log, two. log to the base 2 of E. So it's 1 over log to the base 2 of E. Which direction? Um, the Y. The Y axis. Okay, and this becomes, our, this becomes the bog standard response for all of these types of transformations. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yep. So the easiest way to do this is if you have a practice of a couple. So I'll write a couple up mm. and I'll get you to do them and then I'll do them for you. All right, so the question is, what transformation is required to take the graph of y equals 2 to the x? Okay. Okay, so what we want to do is we want to make 2 to the x 
into 3 to the x. So what we need to do is we need to change 2 to the x with some kind of power thing up the top here so that it's going to drop out, make that equal to, so that it's going to drop out a 3. And so for it to drop out a 3, what we need to have up here is log to the base 2 so that it matches with this base. And then for the 3 to drop out, we need that 3 to be there. So this then becomes our graph of 2 to the n x and that n is that thing there so if we were to describe the change that we need to make to the graph of 2x because that's the one that we're starting with okay then it becomes the change is dilate by a factor of 1 over n which is log to the base 2 of 3 from the y-axis. And just to clarify, we're going from the graph of y equals 2x to the graph of y equals 3x. So if we start with y equals 2x and dilate and dilate, come here, dilate by a factor of 1 over log to the base 2 of 3 from the y-axis, what you actually get is the graph of y equals 3x. And just to show you that this actually works, I'm going to do an example with um, 2 to the x and 4 to the x. I'll just write the example up. So there's the question there. What transformation is required to transform the graph of y equals 2 to the x over to the graph of y equals 4 to the x. And so well, there's two ways you can do it, as I said. So hopefully you'll recognise that you can do this using index laws, that 2 to the 2x is equal to 4 to the x because 2 squared is 4. And so what we've got here is realistically if we started with y is equal to 2 to the x and we have a dilation factor here of 1 on 2 from the y-axis by a factor of 1 on 2 you'll get the graph of y equals x to the four, well, 4 to the x, not x to the 4. Now, if we do it using to the power of a log, we start with 2 to the x is going to be equal to 4 to the x, and we need to put something in here that's going to drop out that base 4 that we need. So we need to have log to the base. Let me go here in a little bit. We need to have log to the base 2 so that it'll cancel with that 2 and then we want it to drop out the 4. Okay so this time you can see that our n here, our dilation factor, has a log in it. So 1 over log to the base 2 of 4. So log to the base 2 of 4, so from y-axis. Log to the base 2 of 4, we can write as 1 over log to the base 2 of 2 squared. The 2 comes out the front. So it's 1 over 2 log to the base 2 of 2 log to the base 2 of 2 is 1, 1 over 2, our dilation factor is a half, exactly what we got before.